Hello, agentpreneurs, and welcome back to the Daily List Report. Hopefully, you're watching all of the amazing content we have on this channel. You're enjoying it. Today, we've got one of your favorite guests back on, Ashley Muzak. She's an employee here at List Reports, and she's been giving you lots and lots of tips and tricks about social media and Canva and Instagram stories and all kinds of cool stuff. And today's going to be no exception. So she's back today, and she's going to talk about how to convert any video into a GIF and more importantly, why you should care, right? Why should you do that? So she's gonna show you how to use this really cool tool. It's called CapWing, it's free. It allows you to basically convert a video into a GIF. She's gonna talk about why using GIFs is actually better than using URLs or web addresses in your social media posts. So while you're here, please consider subscribing to our channel. We're growing nicely. We appreciate deeply all of the support that all of you have given us, your comments, your feedback, and hopefully you're enjoying these shows. So make sure you subscribe, click the little bell to be notified of any future episodes. And without further ado, here's Ashley. Hi, Agentpreneurs. I'm Ashley, and I'm back to go over how to make a GIF online. So I use this trick all the time to take longer videos like YouTube videos or just any sort of MP4 file that I have, and I want to either trim or turn into a GIF really quickly, no hassle and no download required. So I figured I'd just join in here and uh, show you how I do it. So. First things first, I use a website called Capwing, and they have a lot of different tools. So I'm not gonna get into everything that they have to offer because they do a really great comprehensive overview on their site. Um, but if you specifically want to make GIFs, I would recommend either Googling Capwing GIF Maker, GIF Converter, or if you see the URL up there, it's capwing.com slash tools slash convert dash video. And once you get there, you're gonna see this screen. It's gonna say convert video online. And as you can see down here, all you have to do is select a clip, pick a format and download. It's honestly that simple, which is why I love it. So you can either upload from your downloads folder or any file on your computer, or you can paste a URL. Now, I think it's really interesting to do URL. So I'm gonna show you how I use this for our YouTube channel. So. I'm going to just simply paste a URL I've already grabbed from YouTube. It can either just be directly from the search bar or if you hit the share and copy from there. Then after a few seconds of loading, Capwing's gonna bring it up, gonna start playing. I'm gonna pause it so that it's not too loud. Uh, and then you get to choose which format you want. Now, if you wanna convert it to an MP4, all you have to do is just take the whole video, you can convert it. You hit this create down here, which I think you know, my head bubble might be blocking, but down here, this little red bar is actually a create button. Um, and so you can do an MP4 of the whole video, a, G a GIF, a JPEG, or an MP3. All your options are right here. Now, um, if you want to do an MP4, but you don't want to have the entire video, right? Like this is a half hour long video. It's going to be a big file. Let's say I just want to trim it down. I just want one section of this clip from this YouTube show that I really liked. You're gonna hit the trim button and then it's gonna allow you to come here and you're gonna use these sliders. So if you know the exact start and stop times from YouTube or if you just happen to know them, you can type them in here. If I was to say 30 right there, it's gonna start it all the way. It's gonna move that slider for me to 30 seconds. Now, if I want 30 minutes, you know, 30 minutes and 30 seconds, it's nearly the end of the video. All I have to do is type that in right here and then it will, automatically move the slider to that position. Now, if you're like me, you don't always know which ones you want and you like to kind of preview the image. So the way I actually like to do this is I just come here and I click and drag. And so I'm just gonna drag and as I watch the video preview on the left side, we'll actually follow along and kind of jump around to show you where you're at. So then you can kind of stop, you can get a good Look at where you are, what it's doing. You can do this minus five seconds, plus five seconds to kind of help you jump a little bit if you're trying to really get a specific um, time spot. And then once you're happy with it, you can also drag this actually all the way. And then this is gonna create a really short clip. So it doesn't have to begin and end um, at the beginning or end of the video. It can be just a clip from the middle, clip from anywhere. True. Once you're happy with it, then you just hit done and it's gonna convert. So We'll just click that and then it will trim the video. And then from here, you just hit this. Whatever scale, scale is suitable, suitable to you. you. There we go. 
um, then you're just going to hit this red create button that is again hidden by my giant head bubble. So apologies, <laughs> but it is behind you, I promise. Um, so that's an MP4 and that's how you trim. And then it will, um, I'll show you in a minute. I'll do it with a GIF. Um, but once you hit create, it will give you an option to either share as a URL link. So you don't have to download it if you don't want to, or you can simply download it and then you can send it, email it, post it wherever you want, however you please. Um, so I'm going to show you yeah. as, as long, long as, as you, you really are going and it's going to play again because it always plays when you change the format. So same thing. It's really easy, nice slider bar. And it'll actually, what I like about this is it shows you how many seconds it's long it's going to be as a GIF. Because for a GIF, you want them to be short and sweet, not too long. And in my experience, it really needs to be under about 10 seconds or less to be able to be posted on social media. Um, the smaller the GIF, the better. And so the bigger file sizes don't always work. So if it's longer than 10 seconds, sometimes even nine to 10 seconds is pushing it. And if it's just a bigger file size, you know, LinkedIn, Facebook, it just might either upload it a different way or it might have trouble processing. So I usually, as a rule of thumb, keep it under 10 seconds. I'm going to find a great screen grab. So I'm just going to go move this little slider until I'm kind of happy with um, the preview it's showing, and that might have a slight lag. Success. And I'll, I'll tell you, tell you as an entrepreneur, Gia, I, I, I cannot again. tell you. Um, so just get it to a place where you're happy with it, and then you can drag. And again, this it, it looks a lot closer than it actually is. So I use the numbers at the bottom. So 18, 12 seconds, nine, nine, 6.9. Perfect. And then once you let go, you can play, and it'll play. You can see, okay. Am I happy with that positioning? Is it middle of the sentence? And the good thing about GIFs is it doesn't actually download with sound. So that's another tip. If you want a small trimmed video with sound, definitely do an MP4. But if you just want a GIF that's just kind of the video movement and no sound, just to post on social media, go for the, go for the GIF. And I'm gonna, so then once you're happy with it, you hit the create button down here um, that red thing again behind red button behind my head bubble and we're going to see if it lets me click on it because the software i'm using to record myself here i'm going to try oh look i can move i don't know if you guys can see that i can move that i just discovered this see fun online digital tools amazing we learn new things all the time so there's that create button you're going to hit create and it's now going to load i'm going to move my head back so this does take a few minutes um to process it and what's nice is GIFs are watermark free. Um, and I think most of the MP4s are as well. Worst case scenario, there's a little tiny watermark in the corner that says Capwing, just because this is a free software. So of course they're gonna wanna promote themselves, but you can uh, upgrade if you don't want any watermarks on anything. And you know, they have their pricing options right up here, as you can see. So you can go check those out if you're interested. And as they do this, um, I'm just gonna say the reason why I recommend using GIFs on social media when you're sharing posts um, instead of a big YouTube video um, is because, especially on LinkedIn, I'd say Facebook's a little bit better about it, but YouTube is technically a competitor for both Facebook and LinkedIn in that it's a social channel, right? And Facebook and LinkedIn want you to stay on their platform and watch their content instead of jumping away to YouTube. So what I usually do, especially when I'm promoting on List Report social channels, is that we convert all of our YouTube links into Bitly links. So not only does it make it shorter and easier to, to you know, view, click on, copy paste into another browser, uh, it also kind of disguises it a little bit, not a ton, but a little bit, so that Facebook and LinkedIn don't necessarily recognize it as a YouTube link right away. And so sometimes that just helps with the algorithm. Now, what we found is that on LinkedIn, especially LinkedIn really doesn't like those YouTube videos. They are really not about outside content. They want it to be um, content that you've uploaded directly into LinkedIn. So when you take a GIF um, of your YouTube video instead and you upload that to your post, then what we do is we post the link, say, hey, if you want to watch the full video, click the link in the comments. And then we post watch now and the link in the comments. Now, it depends on your audience because sometimes that can be tricky for people to figure out and to find. But if you feel comfortable, what that does is having the GIF instead of the video means that LinkedIn is like, oh, you created your own content. So we want to promote that more than we want to promote YouTube because we don't want to drive people to go to YouTube and leave LinkedIn. So what the algorithm does is it prioritizes 
posts with pictures or uploads or GIFs or any of those things before it prioritizes anything with a YouTube link. So the algorithm is just going to naturally promote any you know original content or uploaded content before it promotes the YouTube. So it just means you're probably gonna get more views, it's gonna be um, more searchable, and LinkedIn is just generally going to treat your post a little more nicely and um, you're hopefully gonna get more views on it. So that is why we started using that and that's a trick I more recently learned because like we know all the social media channels are always changing how they operate and the algorithms and sometimes, you know, how do we know what the algorithms are? We don't, but they definitely have tricks. So if you ever wanna know more about these, um, you can always drop a question in the comments below and I'm happy to answer, but also a quick Google search of just best ways to post on Facebook, best way to post on LinkedIn. Um, that's what I usually do is just to keep it, keep up with um, the different changes that all the platforms go through. I'll just, you know, every couple months just checking in what's the best way to post. And they have some really good tips on there. So I would highly, highly recommend. So in a few minutes, hopefully, maybe even seconds, we're lucky, um, this will pop into a screen that has a preview of your GIF and or MP4 file or whatever you've chosen on the left. And then it's going to have a copy link and a download button and even an edit button. So if you want to go back in and edit it or, um, Capwing also has video editing capabilities that are a little like Canvas, where you can add text and captions, and you can kind of edit and play with little images and things on top of the video. So I definitely encourage you to check that out if it's something you're interested in. Personally, I find Canva a little bit easier to work with, so I would probably download the clip or GIF or whatever it is, and then upload it into Canva, which is an extra step, but just because it's what I'm comfortable with and I know, you know, I can navigate a little bit better that's what I stick with but it's definitely worth learning if you really want to learn a new tool and expand your horizons because honestly Capwing's been a big lifesaver for me in terms of making all these gifts and not necessarily needing to store them all on my computer all the time because they do take up space and video files are a lot so definitely a good thing you can always use hashtags that's another great way to get your posts more visible um, I like to use when LinkedIn and Facebook recommend hashtags on your post those are always great to use um, another thing I see people do is if you don't like the look of cluttering your post with a bunch of hashtags at the bottom you can actually put them in the comments and it's different on different platforms you know I think that's usually best on Instagram but I think you can also translate that over to LinkedIn and Facebook and it's a great way of making your post more searchable without clogging up the actual look of the post itself. All right, entrepreneurs, we are back. And like I said, just takes a minute, but hopefully not too long. So here we go. Here's the, the page I was describing earlier. We've got our converted video project, which is our GIF in this instance. On the left, you can see um, the preview of it, and this is what it looks like. Then you have your download button over here. Love that. You just click download. It downloads it. It usually names it something on my computer at least. It's like final 9278,000 numbers, whatever. Then you can just rename the file whatever you like. Um, you can edit it if you decide that you either won't, aren't happy with it and want to go back, or you can just make adjustments, add that text, do all the fun things that I talked about earlier. That's also going to work if you want to add text shapes, resize, adjust everything. That's opening in studio, and that's something else you can do. And then look, they have these easy share buttons. So if you really just wanna share it directly to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, it's right there. Like I said, LinkedIn is not necessarily a friend of these uh, other sites, so you can copy the link or download is what I recommend. I think that social sites usually take better to upload. So if you download it and upload it, the social media site recognizes it as something that could be original content, something that you created, versus something that links to an external site. And they're always going to like um, I think they call it like native content more than they're going to like something that directs you away from the social media site, right? Because, you know, it's business. They want to keep you there. It's their site. Um, of course, they want your eyes and your attention there instead of being diverted somewhere else. So whenever you're posting on social media, download and then upload it. I know it's an extra step, but definitely worth it for the algorithm. Um, but otherwise, if you're just looking for something casual or you want to throw it into an email or someone and you don't want to, um, especially with email, you don't want to bog it down with a huge file, copy link is your friend. So that's how you make a GIF or trim a video or create, you know, just a shorter video from, um, a, or sorry, a downloadable version of any YouTube video 
or anything you see online. So I hope you guys found that helpful. I hope it takes your video content to the next level. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave uh, your question or any, any feedback in the comments. We love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching and thanks again to Randy for having me on. Bye everyone. Ashley, thank you so much for coming back on the show and doing that again. I know all of our agents out there deeply appreciate the time that you're taking to show them these tips and tricks. Um, for all of you out there, we've been doing this with this show, right? So she's been, that, that's how she discovered this, right? She's been converting video clips into GIFs and using them on social media because you can see the action, the movement, my hand gestures, and it's a really compelling way to get somebody into your content rather than just a still screen. So definitely check it out. Go get Capwing, convert some videos into GIFs, try it on social media. Let us know how it's working for you. Let us know what questions you have. And until tomorrow, be safe, be healthy, be happy, and we'll see you soon. Bye.